let's just get right into it. Thanks again for for coming. Oh, for sure, dude. It's, it's I been a while. Like, I've watched so many of these, the 99 stock series, and I'm definitely like a little nervous that like I won't think of something cool in 99 stocks. I was like warming up on Dolphin, like fuck. Ooh, shit. I don't oh, think shit. you're gonna have that problem. <laughs> So, like, out of curiosity, what do you remember about meeting me? Because it really was, like, eight years ago. I think we just played, and that's kind of it. But the tournament itself was a pretty historic tournament. You know what I mean? They always show that uh, mm -hmm. YouTube King set. Oh, yeah. PP? It's, um... Yeah, PP was there. Um, oh, what else happened? Mewtwo King, like, beat Shudats, Ice Climbers by, like, rotating every game with different characters. That was huge to me. Was me thinking like a, uh, an oh, early uh, inspiration of yours? He kind of is Michi for King? like everyone. Michi King? Yeah. Um, he. I think he was like. Um, I don't think he inspired my play, but he definitely inspired me to like watch because like, what he. I think back then, I think people obviously like love Michi King these days, but back then they like idolized. Him. Oh, I know. Like, it, it, they idolized him to a point where it was disgusting. They, yeah. They just let this, like, he never grew up, you know what I mean? He's so, yeah. like, much better now uh, than he was, and it's part of the reason is because we enabled this behavior. We just let him, like... <laughs> Dude, I think about that all the time, where, like, um, I, I don't think people understand, like, no offense to Mewtwo King, obviously, but there were a lot of things he did that were, like, very questionable. Yeah, like, um, I know the doc... <laughs> really? Yes. Ask him about it. Oh my god. And he definitely like like would have people like buy him a bunch of stuff all the time. And like it, it was in the dock obviously, like, oh yeah, like you know, like people would do things for Mewtwo King because he was good. But I don't think people realize like there were definitely moments he was like a little scummy about it. But oh, he yeah. didn't have to <laughs> that do was some like of the thing. The most tame way you could say how they treated him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was so t that was definitely the tamest way. Um, I have this, like, very funny Mewtwo King story. Well, it's like a many-person story. This is a, probably a call-out to many people, but it's like a very legendary story in my house. But basically, there was this tournament. Um, it was in New Jersey, and there were, like, 14 entrants there. And, um, right on. I go and Mewtwo with... King needed to be at it to survive. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was his only way to live was making that $70 of the 14-man bracket. And so it was like... I went with Captain Smuckers, and like he was, he was a youngin at the time, and um, he drove me there because we were we were just little little boys trying to get into melee, and <laughs> <Right>. uh, <laughs> and so we ended up somehow having to drive Mewtwo King, DJ, and someone known as the Depths. Um, he was like a New York player, and like it was just really weird. Like it was. Oh shit! <laughs> you were reading a roll from a different year, dude. <laughs> that was so next level. It was but... back in 2012. It was the same roll you did. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you were trying to see what was seen. Oh shit! You're nuts. Um. No, so he, so Captain Smuggers, who was like 19 at the time, he's like driving me, who I'm lying to my parents about, like going to tournament. So he has to get me back by like 11, so my dad just <laughs> me up. And uh, he's like super anxious about it. And um, Mewtwo King was talking to the Depths. He was like, hey, yeah. Um, I think the Depths is like, dude, I really want to smoke weed, weed right now. And Mewtwo King's like, weed? That sounds so cool. Like, can we stop and do it? And like, <laughs> Kevin Smuggers is like 19 and nervous about like getting me in trouble. And I'm nervous because I have a curfew. And I'm like, uh, no, I, I don't want to do that. And so eventually, I, I guess we get convinced into doing it. And at some point, like, my dad picks me up. And like I tell him, and like you're I was just at a friend's because house because of fucking Mewtwo King. Yeah, no, I fucking I didn't I didn't smoke at all, or I still I still don't do any of the of the substances. I was just fucking nervous because like my dad was gonna find out I was at a tournament. I just told him I went to a friend's house, so he picked me up from my friend's <laughs> house. But that's super but funny that like you would come. I'm just imagining you coming home all uh like you know like red eyes, and you're like. <laughs> Where were you? And you're like, I was smoking weed. And he's like, No, you weren't, you asshole. You were at a tournament <laughs> playing <laughs> Dude, for 50 hours. 
Dude, my parents were kind of like that because I told them like, yeah, like I think they like gave me a talk one time about, like, you know, the usual parent talk about doing uh, the birds, the bees, the, uh, Falco and the Fox. Yeah, <laughs> the birds, the, that and like, look, like there are going to be kids out there pressuring to do all these things. But I genuinely have never had like an interest in it. Um, and so I'm like, I, they were like, oh yeah, like never get into like doing drugs and stuff. There are going to be a lot of people peer pressuring you. I'm like, yeah, I'm actually never going to do it. And they're like, really? They're like, well, you could do it like eventually or like with us. <laughs> like they were like weirded out. I was like, no, I, I don't think I'm ever going to drink. And they're like, I'm like, yeah, drinking's really bad. You guys are right. And they're like, well, I drink responsibly. <laughs> like they were hella weird about it. They weren't like, ready they definitely... for the talk to go that well. They're like, yeah, I'm actually never going to do drugs. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, just do them later. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they were hella freaked out. Um, but they weren't, like, they actually were like, yeah, we'd rather you drink than go to tournaments, because tournaments have strange, scary men at them. I mean, that's probably true. That's still true. But, oh, nonetheless, oh, so what happened was my dad picked me up, and I'm like, oh, thank God I got out of it. And, um, and we're driving by, and I told him that, like, um, it was, I was at a friend's house, and we pull up by... <laughs> my friend Alex's car and Mewtwo King and this guy in the depths are just smoking weed on his trunk. And my dad just like waves at them. <laughs> like, and I'm like scared out of my mind. I just like play wave. And it's like, oh, that's your friend's dad, right? And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's not Mewtwo King. That's my friend's dad. Like, I, I don't know why my dad didn't notice that Mewtwo King was smoking a blunt, but I was very thankful. Um. And then after that, Mewtwo King tried to avoid paying Captain Smucker's gas money and, like, tried to run away. And it yeah. was very... It was very not great. Like, Mewtwo King just kind of had no filter on, like, what he would do if he was in, like, a ride, like, a car ride with somebody. Dude, there was... Like, I've, I've known uh, Mewtwo King for, like, a while, and I've seen different eras of Mewtwo King. Like, mm. he didn't always smoke weed. And then when he started smoking weed, it was so funny, because it was, like... I don't know, the things he would ask for all the time, like when he would like show up at my house, he would be like, what's your Wi-Fi password? You know what I mean? It went from that to like, you got any weed? <laughs> he he oh claimed it, it claimed it helped him sleep. So he liked to, he liked to smoke weed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but like, He's... you know, that's, Which not, is understandable. that's not why he was asking. <laughs> yeah. It's also funny as hell because it's just like, as, as like a Yuji King thing, it's just like, it's like fine to ask that question, but he would be like first time rooming with somebody. And it's like, first question was like, hey, and it's like a 16 year old kid who's just a Yuji King fan that wanted to help out. And he was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that guy. Yeah, what's up, Shane? Uh, he is, he's nuts. If so, you know what? I, I kind of miss that kind of Yuji King. I know he doesn't exist anymore like that. <laughs> Maybe if you get enough weed in him, he'll, uh, <laughs> you smoke him out a little. He'll return to his ways. Yeah, he definitely is a little different. I feel like he has people that do that for him, but in a more, like, parental way, and he has, like, consistent people do it. Before, it was just like, I don't have, like, a dad, so I'm gonna just have to ask this, like, 17-year-old that drove me to the tournament. Um, <laughs> but Dude, if your dad didn't drive like you that. to your first tournament, are you even a Smash player? Ooh. Did my dad drive me? I, it was my brother, who was very... It was, I think at like one of my first tournaments, my brother drove me, and somehow, like, he ended up learning how to wave dash from the moon. I'm like, <laughs> I like just like, told him, like, Chris, like, how did you get... Like, you don't care about this. He's like, oh, he just seemed really nice and wanted to show me. Um, yeah, most of my <laughs> first tournaments, like, I just DQ'd in losers all the time because I had a curfew of, like, nine. And so, I, like, my round one, I would, like, play DJ Nintendo's Bowser as he, like, <laughs> like, as like yawns. Tradition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you lose to, like, a low tier of his while he's, like, yawning and, like, talking to Alucard mid-set. And then, loser's round one, I, like, play my best friend that they, like, forgot to seed around. And then... Because Alucard DJ seeded the whole thing while playing fucking, like, Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> dude! <laughs> Other people would just set up the tournament for Alucard. He would come like three hours late. It's like, yeah, sorry, I have the car Dude, trust issues. Me, I've, I've been to early ROMs. I know. <laughs> oh Dude, you remember that time like Hungrybox and Mango played in winners' quarters because they, because 
the reason was like, oh yeah, we can't have DJ and the Moon play because they're on the same sponsored team that's made up by Alucard. Oh my god, yeah, we can't have these two play. Like they do at the grand finals yeah. of every local. <laughs> it was so fucking fun. And then Daryl destroyed everybody. Daryl was really monster. embarrassing. There is a combo that Daryl did once. It was at uh, Apex, one of the Apexes. He just did it. He broke someone's shield and he did some crazy, uh, like, I don't know, thing that ended in a charge shot, but he, like, hit them into the charge shot. It oh, was shit. actually one of the greatest combos I've ever seen, and the video got deleted. I don't know where it's at. No one will ever see it again, and no one knows what I'm talking about. Dude, that honestly was some of the beauty of uh, old school melee. That like, there are just some things that only your eyes have seen. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, sure. obviously it's good that we have streams, but like, man, it was hype watching like a set. It's just like thirty people. It's like fifteen. It's like ten people from one person's region, ten from the other, and then ten very lucky people that got to witness like a crazy like regional rivalry. You know. I uh, I had this idea once for all like uh the people in Pittsburgh or like whatever. We all kind of like had these uh, stories of like combos that we like have done before and like no one ever saw or like it never got recorded or anything and we were gonna like I was gonna have them tell the story like in depth of it and like kind of like recreate it behind them <laughs> as they're telling the story I don't know we were gonna call it rumors of combos it was a uh... dude that would be idea. I mean similar things happen with like Scorpion Master and stuff. I think people would believe the combo stuff. Dude, I also remember... Oh, shoot. Um, I remember that, uh, I think the first time I played you... I mean, mind you, I was like 14. But at the time, you were still a very, uh, popular figure. And so I think I, like, took one friendly from you, and I just told all my five friends for like, the next six months. I was like, dude, I took a game from Carol. You know Carol, right? He's always, he's always like, hanging out with the top players. He's crazy. I think I, like, literally, like, only talked I, uh, about the few friendlies I I think that was, like, one of the first tournaments I, like, or bigger tournaments where I finally, like, played Fox. I, like, I, I played Marth forever, and then, like, oh, finally really? switched to Fox. Like, I finally was just like, fuck this. I wanna, you know, I wanna play the way I wanna play. I don't wanna have to, like, you know, play, it, like, the Marth game. Yeah, I think Marth is, like, I think, like, once you get the punish going, you can be, like, super creative and do what you want. But then in neutral, it's like, yeah, I kinda do just have to, like, hold down the center and, like, space fair and down tilt and stuff. But then Fox, it's like, I can do whatever I want. Oh, yeah, like, time. this is my game. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry, I appreciate the little thing. Maybe the, the people at home, and that's like the the plight of the players. No one like notices and appreciates the little thing. Oh to know yeah. I'm here for you. Thank you. I I definitely think like I appreciate all your like combo videos because I think like you you're not biased to any character in terms of like cool stuff that could happen. Like you just fundamentally understand like what's cool about melee and you make it happen with the other ones. Obviously, I'm biased towards your Peach. Like I think it does crazy right. ass shit. I mean, I think Peach is like, Peach is by far my best character anymore. Like Fox is kind of hard to keep keep the juice up nowadays. Yeah. Like Peach is one of those characters. It's it's weird that like, it she doesn't really like in like Lifetime, like attract a lot of like all the technical players. I feel like a lot of people see her as like the but they floaty, wally stuff. She's fast and she's like hard to play. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess it's like like long periods of like Armada, and they're like, oh well. I guess Armada was like a little defensive, so like um, they're like, oh, Armada's defensive, so therefore like this character can't be like played tech skill wise. But, it's, but even it's like the dummies like... that like can't understand like uh, melee. Like on that level, like they see our modded punish game, and they're like, "Man, this character is amazing." Mhm. Mm Total. Like, it's so it's so weird. I think like too many people in general, like when there's a, off of, um, when there's like a, a character that only has like one or two people playing them, like they just think that that person is the only way to play that character, and it's so weird. What's up? Because Dilla? like, what's up? Uh, I just. Gotta shout out the homies real quick. But yeah, oh, you know what? Yeah. Like, uh... Tim Kel, I see you. Um... Dude, I miss Armada, man. I really do. 
Like, he... It's weird. I I have a, a weird theory about Armada. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> um, I have a theory about Armada that since he retired, the Peaches, like, creativity, like, were set free. I feel like all the Peaches are getting way more technical. They're like, wait, I don't have to be Armada anymore? He's dead? <laughs> Finally! Yeah, that's and now true. they're all I mean, just being really creative. It used to be, like, uh, if Armada didn't do it, you didn't do it. Yes, dude. Every, every Peach player has heard in their lifetime, like, anytime they lose, they're just like, well, if you just, like, watch Armada, then they'll all... <laughs> Holy shit. They're like, oh, it'll just be okay, you know? Like, it's like, why don't you just do everything the best player in the world is doing? It doesn't make sense. And it's just like, really? Like, I think that's kind of, like, no one would say that about, like, a Falco player. It's like, yeah, do exactly what Mango does. Because they're like, yeah, it's hard. But I think for some reason, people thought that, like, oh, shit. <laughs> Um, trying to people play thought like, I think people thought like, oh yeah, like Peach is like kind of easy, so you should just be able to replicate like this very specific spacing over and over. Yeah, Peach definitely uh, was called an easy character for a good long time. Uh, I think that's changed. I don't really hear anyone saying like Peach is an easy character anymore. Yeah, I think I I don't know what people think about these days. Like I think people still think she's like lame, but I think they're like, yeah, she's kind of hard. Or, like, she's good at, like, if you want to get, like, locally ranked in your area, but then after that, it becomes really hard. I like the little niche that she had in the uh, Ice Climber, uh, like, ecosystem, where, like, even, like, some bad people would just, like, peach their way through Ice Climbers and get rid of them. Mm hmm I, I def, I think that's, like, what gave people some respect. It's, like, all the top players played it, and then, like, I think they would play versus Ice Bears, I'm like, wow, this is free. And then they play it, their Peach versus, like, any other like character. Like, in the oh, wait. Uh, wait, what happened? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I can't do it anymore. It's like, I just beat Chudat. Why did I lose to my local Fox? Yeah, uh-huh. Um, but I think it's starting to change. Like, um, <laughs> I don't think the, the Peach players are, like, we're obviously not, like, changing the meta of, like, what Peach can do yet, or, like, making her super good, like, mm -hmm. we, no one's at our model level yet. But I do think a lot of the Peach players are starting to have, like, more heart. Like, all the Peaches are, like, when they play Peach, they have lots of pride in them, and, like, they try to go for their own, like, cool swaggy things. I see. I see what you mean. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't think there's ever gonna, there's never gonna be another Amada. Let's just get that no. straight. But, do you ever think there's gonna be another consistent top eight Peach. I kind of don't mm. think there will be. Yeah, it, it takes a lot of work. Honestly, our Peach players are... Uh, we don't have anyone, I think, at like a super top level changing things. Like, I think that, like, um, Blod, he's, like, busy with, like, med school stuff. And so... Nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then Triff is, like, the closest, right? Like, Triff... Yeah. He might make a top eight or two, but, like, I don't think he's the consistent. Maybe not yeah. yet, you know what I mean? You never know with this game. Yeah, I think, uh, Triff might be able to do it. I think his problem is, like, uh, he's actually amazing versus, like, Faces and Peach's, like, better matchups, but I think, like, Falcon and Puff, he kind of struggles a lot with. So, yeah, like, in terms of that consistency, like, no one's even close to our man. Like, there's no Peach that just, like, doesn't lose a matchup. Like, it was only him. Isn't that insane? And I think we that... really lost, like, one matchup, maybe two. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I always get confused about is, like, lots of Peaches love to uh, complain about uh, the Falcon matchup, right? But, like, if we're all, like, hailing our mod, it's like, it's like he never lost. <laughs> like, we should think that, like, he's, like, Peach can do it because, like... Oh Armada yeah, that was the most impressive of them all. Like, uh, because that, that's like not an easy matchup for Peach, and he never mm -hmm. lost it. I mean, and like, I think it's so funny that they found out he'd never even, like, honestly lost it to Silent Spectre. That's like that's the I funniest know. thing that's ever happened. It's like the most Armada thing that could happen. It's like no, actually, he actually loses sometimes. It's like yeah, one of the no, biggest like didn't. upsets of the time. How does that ever happen, dude? I don't know. Like, I don't, so then he really only lost, like, two, I guess Amsa, and, like, well, I don't know, do they count Amsa because Armada wasn't a god, technically, or something? I mean, he I still lost. Uh, yeah, he did. And, I mean, it's funny it's like that, that like, they probably played a bunch in PAL, and then, like, Amsa gave them the, uh, 
the NTSC. Uh, dude, it hurts. I, I think uh, lots of peaches are starting to change their view of um, like what the hard matchups are. I think people are starting to think Sheik is bad again, especially. Holy oh, shit! <laughs> um, I think like people are starting to think like. Um, because I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, Marth's really hard, but I think Peaches usually do better versus Marth, and now yeah. they're like kind of struggling versus Sheik. Yeah, I think Sheik has always been kind of hard. I don't know, my brother was also, my brother, I don't know if you've ever played my brother, or remember my brother, Silent Swag. Mm. Oh, dude, Silent Swag? I haven't yeah. heard that name in a long time. Yeah. I he was your brother. Yeah, he's my brother. He, he like, doesn't really play too much anymore, but, uh, mm. In his time, he was really good against Peach. I mean, he beat Hanky, he beat Mafia, he beat everybody. Like, he, I've seen him take yeah. games, like, off Armada, which is insane for anyone, like, for anybody at all, ever. There's, yeah, that guy's probably lost games to less than 100 people in the world, ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember Silent Swag being ridiculous at that matchup. Oh, let me um, answer a question in the chat. For, for what you don't know, uh, so back in pound four, uh, Armada lost, it was like his second US tournament and the biggest tournament uh, at that time. It was actually my first national, but um, yeah, he lost to Silent Spectre, uh, Falcon Peach, but then like after studying the VOD for like, you know, years, someone like noticed that the damage ratio had to be at uh, uh, 0 0.9 because of like the way like moves were like hitting and like the percentages it was doing. And, like, it really just, like, people, like, talked about that, like, upset for years. So, yeah, that's huge. Dude, Silent Spectre, that's a guy we haven't heard in forever. I, like, Silent Spectre was also such a, um... Dude, up tilt out of shield? Are you talking with me? <laughs> I've, been, I've been thinking about up tilt again. I, like, normally am I, not a, is. um... <laughs> Hell yeah. I was nervous. I was like, oh man, 20 socks are on by. I don't know if I could do this. Um, I think, uh, what's it called? I've been, uh, Peach, some of Peach's moves are just almost good. It's so unfortunate. Like, up tilt, it was just like a little bit faster. But you know what I love about Melee? Like, okay, as bad as some moves are, they have their uses. And it's not because mm -hmm. they were programmed to be useful, it's because we found their uses. So like, do you remember when Fox's fair was a super bad move? And now oh, it has yeah. its uses, and because we discovered where it's good and where it's not, that is like the one reason why I hate PM. I can't stand PM. If you say PM near me, I you are no longer near me, because I am not near you. Mm. Uh, Dude, <laughs> I totally agree. It's like... I mean, I'm thinking about trying PM only in the sense of, like, quarantine, <laughs> yeah. very boring, and, like, I'm running out of things to do. I think but, PM um, started the quarantine because they wanted people to have time to play this monstrosity. <laughs> That's my hot Dude. take. <laughs> they were just, like, I, my friend uh, Gabe tweeted once, just, like, uh, people always said, like, dude, I'll only play PM if, like, the world is ending. And now that the world is ending, people finally are playing it. Like, everyone's stuck to their word. Um, yeah, yeah PM don't... is just like, it's like, it's so clear what every move is supposed to do and how you're supposed to use it. Like, there's no intricacy of, like, weak combos and, like, certain weird hitboxes. Like, it's just like, this is combo starter, this is combo killer, and that's just it, you know? I don't trust like, Smashers to make these judgment calls either. Sakurai was a genius. Yeah. He knew. Sakurai was a genius. Strong, bad, not so much. <laughs> Poor strong bad. If I'm being honest, strong bad. Uh, <laughs> I don't hold him on the same pedestal. It. Yeah, I. Yeah, strong bad isn't stock bad, but he's trying to be. But that's like I don't know. It's like it's like fucking up with like I don't know science. Yeah. It has science like, gone too far? Like. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's cloning ethical type of stuff, you know. I guess the only thing I kind of like like about PM is like the idea that they could put whoever they want in the game if they wanted to. Yeah. So like who do you want in Smash? As crazy as crazy as anyone would be. You know what I mean? People said yeah. Banjo forever and now Banjo's in Smash and he's not good and that's just super funny to me. Dude, that's the thing. I think people
always overestimate just like um how like oh, how like uh I think people like underestimate how much like nostalgia value will go when their character just sucks. Or like the game just sucks. It's like, yeah, I know you really wanted Banjo, but like you're probably not gonna play Ultimate <laughs> to play Banjo. Even if it's like your favorite game and you own every t shirt and every game. Yeah. Like, being good is very important. Like, they actually just released Knuckles, and he has, like, no fast moves. And it's just like, well, I guess well, I can't good. do it. I'm glad that they finally, like, just didn't overkill everything. Mm hmm Yeah, it's, it's weird. For what it's worth, I definitely think it's hard to make a game, so... You see how sick I am? <laughs> Dude, I wanted to get, like, double turnip edge from the Shy Guy guy somehow. <laughs> I think a uh, double turnip edge guard saved my career. There was actually a, a time in a uh, in melee history where like I was known as like the player that like I had all the neutral, but I just couldn't do anything like edge guard or punish game. Like I only like could read rolls for ten percent at a time. <laughs> and like, <laughs> it's better to be known for that than like the local uh, down smasher. You know what I mean? Just like uh, yeah, yeah. your friend Vino, the local F Smasher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, so many peaches are like that. Dude, I actually... I can't believe they still exist. I still see them. All they do is down smash, smashes? and all the Mars do is F smash. Like, they still oh, yeah. are around. And I try... It's my favorite. I beat the shit out of it every time. I know. It's like... It makes sense, because it's like you're new to the game. You get kind of good. It's like, well, it's still kind of working. I just, like, added, like, two more things. But I always feel really bad because um, I think uh, holy shit, <laughs> uh, Ganondorf, what's going on, dude? I miss you more than I miss anyone on the planet. Dude, I I'm gonna cry when I go to first tournament after quarantine. <laughs> you just it's gonna be so beautiful. Much. That and because I'll lose to, in round one. That's the main reason I'll cry. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> round one. My um, oh, I was gonna say, um, oh yeah, there is like, the, there's this like thing that's been happening that I feel really bad about. Um, so like, people will say, oh, like, Ryo Beat, you're super cool, you do all these combos. But in the same, <laughs> every time someone says that to me, they'll be like, yeah, you're so much cooler than my local Peach player. They're so fucking stupid and I hate them and they're ugly. I'm like, wait, no, don't use me to harass somebody. <laughs> no, I, I mean... Trust me, I get the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, why can't other oh. teachers be like you, you know what I mean? I'm like, they're not built for this life. <laughs> yeah, and it's also like... But the, the important thing like... is, like, I try to lead by example, you know what I mean? Like, yes. so, like, I feel like if, you know, Peaches take, like, some of the, like, things they see from, like, cool Peach videos, and they, like, put mm -hmm. it in their game, that's, like, important. Yeah. Just, you know, get them in the game, get them to stop down smashing, you know what I mean? They'll they'll figure mm -hmm. out the rest of Peach later. They always do. Right. It's always weird because there's a... I think there's a... Kind of like a back and forth between, like... I don't... Like, obviously I love the cool options that are gone for. But I understand that some people are just trying to get good. Which is, like, understandable. You want to just, like, copy, like, the flow charts. I only feel bad because people will get, like, Oh, shit. <laughs> People will get like hella bullied for it. I'm like, man, they're not trying. like. It's just like a falcon that's learning to like reaction tech chase, and it's like, why aren't you none? I'm like, yeah, man, that's kind of hard. <laughs> also, given like what they want to do, you know. Yeah, if you knew how hard it is to be none, you would, you would, you would know. <laughs> yeah, or <yeah>. like anybody. <laughs> mhm. Mm Sometimes I think it's funny, like uh, when people are like, I don't know. When people are like overly stupid too, you're like, what the fuck are you trying to do? Like, have a little semblance of like what your character's supposed to look like. Yeah, I I don't know where most people get their idea of a melee from. Like, how does the average like, let's say down smash or peach like get produced? Like, what do they watch? I don't know. Like, I think it's just think like about the world. There's such a thing when some some characters have it. You know what I mean? It's called a panic button. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, like, Peach has a really good one. So, like, young Peach players, they they rely on it. And it's the same way with uh, Marth F Smash, you know what I mean? How, how many yeah. uh, Marths have you seen where, like, any time there is an opening, they go for the F Smash. And that's all they do. Because that's all they know, you know what I mean? It might tip, yeah. it might not, but, like, they know they can get that hit, and that's it. 
Mm. So. For what's worth, I still, I feel like every, every Peach can attest to still pressing the panic button. Oh yeah, for sure. I just think, uh, for me, I think it uh, gets a little boring, is the only thing. Like, I don't know, when I like first played Peach, I think I like really liked the character, but I never really was like a big fan of any of the like top players that did it. Because I was just like, man, I like pressing buttons, and I feel like this isn't the button presser character. Mm -hmm. um, but then I learned that like you can be a button pressing character, and then I just started doing that, and it was like way more fun. And like to some degree, like if you're trying to get better at melee, like it kind of helps to do that type of stuff to like remind you it's not super serious. You need to stake your life on melee and stuff all the time. Oh yeah, for sure. Um. I was gonna say, Peaches, it's funny, they think that down smash is the panic button when it's really a B. Yeah. <laughs> that's when you that's when you know. That's when you learn. Mm hmm Like I think like when you're stressed out about like results and stuff because I actually uh, always talk about like I think in melee in particular, like people feel like the only way that they can be part of the community is like a top player. Like, I'll hear, like, O2 level players just be like, Oh yeah, um, <laughs> I'm really upset, like, I, uh, I went O2 and I'm really embarrassed and I, like, punch the wall because I'm, like, not playing up to my potential. I'm like, dude, why don't you just, like, hang out, man? Like, it's cool to also just hang out. Oh yeah, um, for sure. You know what I also say to people? Like, there is other roads of success in Melee. You know what I mean? I was never oh, yeah. super like competitively good at melee but i've found an area where i am good you know what i mean right and like exactly. you know, some people it's commentating some people it's like they run dope ass events you know what I mean? there are roads mm -hmm. in melee to be traveled that are good you know what i mean top 100 totally. isn't for everybody you know what i mean God exactly bless the people it is for but you know what i mean mm -hmm. and not even in like the mean way of oh well, you can't do it it's just kind of like it's like, is this what you find the most fun in? You know? Is like, this there, what you I actually there are some people... want? You know what I mean? How many people get to that level and then it's like, this isn't all it's cracked up to do. You know who I feel kind of feels that way? KJH. He, like, got oh, really, really yeah. good and now he's kind of like, what is this even for? Yeah, it's just like, every time he goes, it's like depressing because he doesn't like play up to his level. It's a whole thing, like... Yeah, there's so many players that I'm just like... To another extent like that, Crush, you know what I mean? Like, got oh, yeah. top 15, and then it's like, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, there are so many players I know, it's like, every tournament they like throw their controller and get really mad. And I don't, I don't like, think about them as like a, oh, like, you suck as a competitor or something. I'm just like, dude, it just looks like you're not having fun. Like, yeah. if you're not having fun, you should not be doing anything. You know what I know? say to people that throw their controllers? What? Bro, are you rich? <laughs> Dude, I love controller. That's my baby. How could I ever throw it? Oh shit. Fuck. That's going in the next clip. <laughs> that's, that's in the next combo video. You know, I actually who that was like something I uh, saw Mewtwo King do to DOH once. He just like Ooh. does that shine and then like shine solves and does another shine. Mm. Kind of works. I know. I know Mango's ver the uh, he'll like. He'll shine and then like double jump full backwards and shine again. Cause they'll like, he like shine the up B and then he'll shine the float with that. Mm -hmm. Looks hella sick. Do you go through controllers Ooh. often? Oh, uh, luckily have... not too often. I've had this controller for six years. Jesus. Is that absurd? I don't know, dude. And, like, my thing was, like, I only play with silver controllers. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, only. Because, like, when I was coming up, everyone that was, like, a sick technical, like, you know, player had, like, this gross fucking silver controller that just <laughs> looked... Dude, I remember uh, the first big house, like, Lovage spilled, like, fucking Mountain Dew all over his controller. And then just kind of <laughs> washed it off and was like, oh, whatever. I was like, Holy dude, shit. I was like, dude, I don't know other I don't think other controllers are capable of this. It's been silver for life since then. I I always get weird out by the way people treat their controllers. I know someone who like actually just like puts oil on their hands to make sure it's lubricated. Like literal like vegetable oil. 
It's so gross. <laughs> I know I gotta use vegetable oil for something else. Uh, it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm just like... I don't know, it's... It, it just feels wrong and like... I don't know, I love my controller like a child. And like, I can never do such gross things to... Or like when people like eat their controller, I'm like, dude. How could you? Yeah, dude, people... Every time I see someone throw a controller, I'm, the first thing I think of is like, man, are you kidding? Those things are not what they what they used to be as far as price wise. Oh, I had my jump. I was gonna sneak you. Oh. Oh. Dude, doing things on that so much harder. Yeah, it's you'll get used to it the more you do it, mm. and then you'll have to like filter back. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah, I like, um... I've been playing Netplay a bit, and it's, um... It's definitely doable, like, most things I can do, but you definitely have to, like, account for, like, the lag, and, like, there's some things that are, like, maybe too hard to do in some ways. Not, like, everything, but... It's hard to be as, as crispy. Yeah. Or, like, if you play Netplay, like, and that's, like, the thing you play for, like, <clears throat> a couple days in a row, then, um, <clears throat> then, like, you start to, like, just do what you normally do. But I think it's only if you, like, play that much. Mm -hmm. You finally get used to it enough that you can, you can do some shit that looks kind of normal. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fuck the platform, dude. Ooh. Ooh, I'm at a million. Oh my god, that was stitched? Fuck. Isn't that funny how it always is a stitch? I have, like, shine nothing. <laughs> dude, I... I always laugh when the commentators are like, Oh, dude, it was a stitch. Like, of course the Peach player knew. They always know. Dog, I never fucking know. Yeah. I just stuck that yeah. shit. I've never known in my life. <laughs> you know what? It's good that we don't know. Because if I know it's a stitch, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to make it worth more than it is. <laughs> exactly, dude. I... Having a stage. Like, I don't know if you've ever played a Dr. Mario with Peach. It's like I just fucking die at like zero if <laughs> I get a stage and I forget. Dude, I hate the. Uh, how Peach, like. I don't know. That matchup in particular is kind of tough. You know what I mean? It makes you. You have to play a certain way. Like, you just have to oh, back yeah. air your like, brains out. It's kind of tough. But, like, uh. I think, uh, in general, probably my least Peach is, uh, playing versus floaties. I wish there was, like, other things she can do that wasn't just, like, wall attacks. Mm -hmm. Like, I prefer fighting, like, Marth, even if it's much worse for me, because I feel like I'm playing, like, I guess more, like, interesting neutral versus, like, Samus and Luigi. Like, I win, but I need to win by, like, doing the same aerial in the same spot. You know who time. made like, the floaty versus floaty matchups look amazing? And I know you'll agree with me, and you're going to have a nostalgia mm. flashback. Is Van, it Hanky Pan? Jaden. Oh, Van? Oh my god, dude. Dude, my that favorite guy... Peach probably of all time. Just made fucking dude. Peach look amazing. Honestly, yeah, I think my two biggest motivations to play Peach was never Armada. It was like, it was like him and uh, Connor the Kid, actually. Oh yeah, Connor's amazing. Like it would, I think I like watch Peach could be super creative and like still win. And then Connor was like, obviously he was good, but he was like a pure button presser to his heart. It was so sick to see because I love this fox. And then I saw that he had a Peach, and I was like, holy shit! Like this changes everything. Oh. <laughs> I, hear, I hear the button pressing. I hear the corner of the yeah. <laughs> inspiration. Dude, I, um... Oh, the the thing I was going to say earlier... What's called? Like, pressing buttons kind of saved me. Uh, so yeah. I, was a, I was a peach that was just like... Thanks for the call. Oh, no punish. Mm -hmm. uh, and what happened was, like... 
I think at some point, just the, the, the concept of Giffy Cats was like popular in like 2015, <laughs> Dude, people 16. used to say it, I know. It was... Yeah, it's like, someone clip that, clip that. And like, it was just so popular that I was like, do that. And that literally is the whole reason I have a Punish game. It's just because I really wanted to be you like the to guy be the clip that got guy. Cool, cool. Dude, that's how I kind of always felt. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know if you're into basketball at all. I've always kind of like felt like Melee is just like basketball. Like the exact same thing. You know what I mean? You, there's mm -hmm. room to be creative in basketball. There's room to be, you know, efficient, you know. There's just mm -hmm. parallels are crazy. Mm -hmm. And like my, my favorite thing about basketball was like uh, people that can pass the ball and pass the ball super sick. Like crazy passes you know what i mean not only do yeah. they like set someone up but they kind of like they know everything that's happening around them too and like it's just mm. it's crazy you know what i mean mm -hmm. i like that everyone can Niche. Oh, it could have been something randall off tilt dude i also love how in there's so many combos that like never were. Like sometimes I, you can never recreate a situation in melee that you can get the combo you wanted. But it's like, like for example, there starting up tilt on Randall. Like I'll probably never see that again in my life. Like I had one chance in my whole life to hit that combo. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> That's how but I feel. So the question is, did you have something thought out for if it hit? I did. I was go. I got the up tilt, and then I wanted to like up air the tech in place. And then I wanted to dash, shield, pivot, reverse, bear, nair. <laughs> See, like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the same way with all my characters. Like, I'm like, dude, I have, like, ideas for situations I'll never see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone was like, you can... Carol, you lab? I'm like, bro, I sent them a picture of, like, a, like a folder in my uh, computer that has, like, three gigs of just ideas. It's just called ideas. Smash ideas. <laughs> Dude, I I also do that. Like, I usually like will stay on like a combo idea for like at least a month until I get it. I'll have to I just add spam you it to a uh, Discord of mine. It's uh, called Creative Melee, and it's full of creative melee players that bounce uh, ideas off each other. People like uh, me, YCZ, uh, and then there's like people like uh, Uncle Punch, P Tas, Talcon uh, that like can back up the creativity. It's, it's oh, super shit. Sick. Yeah, definitely, definitely gonna add you to that. That sounds super sick. I, um, I, I wish I was, I appreciate YCZ so much. He, like, YCZ is amazing. One of the people. We just did that combo like, contest and I knew he was gonna win. So like the second oh, I, so free. I told him about it and I was like, I just gave you first place. I should get a referral fee. <laughs> Dude, he like, I don't know, I think it's so underexplored to do uh, like CPU combos, and he's like the only one doing it, and he's amazing at it. Actually, yeah, no, I, I didn't know so many people like did. That fast guy from fucking uh, Australia is amazing. Oh, yeah. I definitely think like male thing. I don't know why it's not been done before. Well, I guess the thing with like 64 is like... The whole game is a combo. Like every match, is a fucking combo contest. But like, yeah, with melee, like there's not a lot of like things that like we haven't seen or done. Uh, like mm. even like the greatest like melee combos of all time that actually happen, like wouldn't look good in like a con combo contest just because you can. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's also like. A lot of it's like dependent on like DI and stuff. Fuck! Oh, I wanted to regrab. <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't think I could ever the the like individual uh, or the TPU combos because I feel like all my ideas are based on like if my opponent's DI is like this. Right. Then like mm -hmm. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like exactly my bag of tea either. Like my strong suit, but like I don't know. I, I had some ideas. I thought mine was the most unique out of anything. I don't know if you caught uh, the highlights or watched it. Oh, I forgot. I think I did see it. Like, what was the beginning? Like, if I think if you tell me the beginning, uh, the first the combo rest. I think was just uh, some Luigi combo. But like, mm. I don't know. I did a master hand combo, bro. Who, who does? Oh that? yeah, I saw. I saw the master hand combo. 
I um. I think uh. What do you think is like the, like how like for people that like want to do like crazy combos, what do you think is like the? How do you go about doing crazy combos? Like, how do you want um, to do it? Well, I don't know. I think the first thing is you have to you have to play for a while. You got to know the game. You got to know like uh, you got to be around a block. Yeah, it comes with time. It's not something that you could just like you know. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you could be like. Like a day one player and just be yeah, like, yeah, just have like these crazy ideas. You know what I mean? You gotta know, you gotta see the cool stuff. You gotta, you know, I take inspiration from everywhere. You know what, like, a cheat code is for, like, mm. cool shit? Fucking, mm. you ever just watch, like, Ultimate or, like, you know, Brawl or something and, like, mm. see some shit that you're like, wow, that's, that's so, like, so cool in that game and we don't do it in this game and I don't know why. I've Dude, seen, I've seen is... some like peach uh, like uh, turn up things, and I'm like, wow, that is amazing. Dude, that's where I got my inspiration for the double. The double like, turn up. Yeah, have you seen it before? It's like, it's like Firefox, and I like do I forward throw the turn up, throw the turn up. Uh, I'm not familiar, but it sounds like something I would be into. Oh wait a minute, have you seen my combo? Oh, yeah. Is it recent? Uh, yeah, semi-recent. Maybe, like, November? I don't think I have. I might, after this, have to watch it on stream. Definitely. Oh, that would be sick. Yeah, I think I'll... you'd appreciate it so much. I'll definitely do that. Yeah, dude, I love... Dude, I love watching, like, combo videos that are actually worth it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I will tell you I something. definitely promise it's good. I watch them all. As bad as they are, as good as they are. I watch them all. Mmm. Mmm, caught me. I love the little peach hack stash. It's the only thing she had, and I'm happy like it like visually looks very cool. Mm. Oh shit. Um. No, yeah, I think uh, I my combo video. I don't. I'm trying to think of the combos I do the most, or like the things I like remember like laughing. The double turn up thing is definitely something I do a lot. Um. And then. I have like this like I'd love to see you try something with your peach oh, similar. Oh, 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 stop. Okay. I know what you're talking about. It's it's your fucking thing, the off stage uh double jump read uh double fucking uh Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, um, okay, yeah. Dude, you know what? I cannot do that. I've tried it. I have not been able to recatch <laughs> that turn up. I know there's like a frame lockout, but like I can't uh -huh. I've never been able I've been able to do the fourth throw and the down throw kind of quick. I've never been able yeah. to do the double fourth throw. Dude, that is so cool looking. I love it so much. I like have dreams of 80 different. Like I think in one of my, it's like 40 percent of what I do just because I liked it so much. I was thinking about that actually uh, the other day, and instead of doing like a nair or something, like seeing if you and it's hard. I I switch my grip to do it, but like a forward floating, like with your momentum back air, like reverse back air. Oh, dude, that sounds. It. Or I super do that. if you get the uh, like the turn up uh, the double turn up throw at a low percentage, up air because up air will just hit them right back into you know where you're at there. I would love to do that. That that sounds super. I need to. I definitely need to go into this Discord and like think about that and see like how I'd set it up. It it could be <laughs> your first adventure in uh, in creative melee. The new the new Discord that you're invited to. Oh, I'm so to. excited. Fuck yeah. That edge guard is literally the the main thing I think. And go to bed in relation to melee is like how I'm gonna remix it. Mm. It's so fun. Dude, it's it's, um, it's your thing, and that's like you know what I mean. No one's ever gonna be like, dude, Armada did that once. You know how many times I get that shit? Like, you know, like dude, yeah, I like, Armada do that. I'm like, no, I don't think you're you're not remembering this right, or you don't get why it's like unique. Dude, that happens with all the Peach players. I feel so bad for them. Um... Fuck. Um, like... I think on ev almost every video I've posted, maybe 50% of the time, like, someone will be like, Oh, I think I saw Armada do that. I'm like, I will actually pay you $100 if you find it. Like, not in like a, I guess, rude way, but like... I think it's almost a little disrespectful to think that like the Peaches don't know like what the Peach what they're doing. Are. <laughs> We're just all hitting yeah. down smashing. Dude, there was a time where 
I, I was like, I was in like a big fight, or not like an actual fight, but someone was just like, oh, Nico, like, you can't edge guard this. Like, why don't you just copy what Armada does and do this? I'm like, yeah, he actually gets punished for it every time, and he's like, not done it. He's like, no, dude, Armada does it every time. And I pulled up like my folder of like Armada video analysis. I'm like, dude, it's right fucking here. I watched this shit yesterday. <laughs> And he's like, oh, I guess I guess you're wrong. I think more than any other character, I think Peach get is like the most, or is is like the least understood on commentary. Yeah. Like I remember, like the the most uh, visceral memory of uh, people like misrepresenting Peach while I was on was uh, I played West Balls at Genesis. Oh, what was it? Not the most recent one, but the one before. And it was game three last stock, and. Uh, the commentators were just like, like as commentary bias goes, like they, the, like West Falls is the fast follower, so they were just kind of talking about him, okay. and like, nothing, um, they were, yeah, I'm just like, okay, whatever, but like they just talk about him the whole, and then at some point they're just like, um, by the end I make a comeback to win game one. That's like, I think I win like several neutral interactions or whatever, and they're like, oh my god, how did West Falls lose? And they're like, well, you know, Peach, like. Um, she just gets one down smash after you mess up, and, <laughs> and you probably didn't spot. down smash one time. Probably I, the yeah. entire game. It was you so know how dumb. Peach goes. They just fucking down smash. Dude, also Hit like face. historically, like of all the characters to have like a crazy punish game, I think Peach has like one of the worst punish games of the top tiers. Like, if you think of like what Peach does, like how do you kill someone from zero? She doesn't have like great gimps. Like her back throw isn't the same as like Sheik's or Marth's or like a back throw shine or like a Falco forward throw. Um, and she also like um, off her down smash, like she'll get the first like 36, but then she gets like dash attack and, and then you DI and then it's fine. You know, like she doesn't have like a puff up throw rest or like a shine spike. I think it's very overinflated. I feel similarly when people uh, actually complain about Samus. They're like, oh, Samus such cheese. Like, all they do is like wave dash back down smash. I'm like, that's not a like a zero to death. You guys know this, right? Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> I got my like, I'm like, what are you seeing that like they auto kill you? I think they just like imagine in a very scary PTSD moment where like one local Samus player like down smashed them after like missing an L cancel and they died once. And they're like, yeah, that's actually what happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Um but I think they're not like one the game, which makes me sad, especially with Peach, because I think all the Peach players are very different. Ooh, they also said, um, <laughs> I was like recovering one time, and like the commentator was like, oh, dude, I don't really know how I feel about Ryo. Armada, when he was recovering versus Falco, like he would never get edge guarded. I'm like, you're gonna tell me Armada's never, never gotten been edge guarded? <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, what is his expectation? They're, that, and like also they didn't say like what I should have changed about my recovery. They're like, yeah, Armada just like would never get hit. I'm like, ah yes, <laughs> let me just do that. <laughs> Armada just would like win this and like I wouldn't have to talk. <laughs> yeah, so many commentators. So many people like I don't oh, know. Like... So many commentators like I don't know. They don't do enough. They don't do enough homework. They actually don't even. I feel like they don't love the game the same way. You know what I mean? Like, I totally agree. Dude, you know who's my favorite comic? And like, I think people like this guy a lot, and I don't think they should. The Crimson fucking Boar, baby. Oh yeah, dude. Because Love even if he doesn't, boar. like, necessarily, like, he's not necessarily correct about everything, but he's looking at the game, trying to make some explanation. Dude, he's a big, like, theory crafter. You know what I mean? He, like, yeah. For, like, Marth. He's, like, he's, he's rode for Marth. He's believed in Marth even when Marth was on its way out the door. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. So fast. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did that. Like, he was the person that helped the uh, King beat Armada and shit. Oh, oh. oh no. Please. No. I must be. I'm also, you know, like, sometimes I'm a fan of just DIing into shit just to, just to die. For the homies. Yeah. Yes. No. Oh, fuck. That would have been something I would have put in the clip. Dude, I've also been playing around with, you know about uh, what's called slap dashing? Yeah, I, I don't know. Things like that that I know are like, you know, there's a lot of peach text that is like, I wouldn't say like hard to do, but like, 
you know, it's one of those things you have to do. I kind of think like, so like, uh, subfloat and air, or like subfloat like arrows, I haven't learned to do because I kind of like, you know. It's just hard. <laughs> it, it's hard, and like, you know, you can't like see it either, so like sometimes, like, I don't know. Sometimes so it's good old think, uh, uh, plus three is good for me. Maybe oh, plus four I if I'm really feeling myself, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plus four, I think uh, sub floating is a. Um, like, being plus two or three without sub float, totally fine. You don't have to get super crazy. I think it's helpful and good, but it's not like a. This is the first thing that, like, someone should be learning. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like that's the way with a lot of peaches. A lot of peaches are like, you know what I mean? They're still downsized peaches, but like, it's like, what are you doing double jump landing everything if you can't, like, you know, figure out how to kill the size downsize, you know? Yeah, yeah. The, it's, it's definitely two sizes of peaches. The sequence that you learn things in nowadays, I, I'll never understand. Like, Mars, yeah. Mars learned how to pivot, like, day two. <laughs> Dude, back in the day, it's just like no one needed. Yeah, you no didn't one pivot until no you were like top ten. Like, and I also uh, think that it's tough because there are people that like go for like super cool combos and like, oh shit! <laughs> I didn't realize you would hold me. <laughs> I, I was I was trying to get there fast. <laughs> um, I think there are people who like cool combos and like mistake them for like uh, like how you should like learn to play the game if you want to be good. And I feel bad. Setting a bad example sometimes. Like, I think uh, something that I you know, do is never uh, feel bad. There's, there's enough. Wait, ne never feel bad for doing something suboptimal as far as like you know what I mean? the meta. You know what I mean? They'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, yeah that's true. I um, I like tweet about like Q drop down smash a lot because I think it's like a niche cool thing that's like pretty good, but like not something you should learn. And then I think a bunch of people are like, oh, dude, I really need to get on my Q drop down smash uh, tech. Like, I don't have it down at all. Dog, you don't need to have it down. I'm just, I'm just fucking around. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Knitting. I don't, I don't do that uh, like frame perfectly the way you're supposed to. Like, I kinda, oh yeah. I kind of just do like the the half ass way, which is just as fast as throwing them up, but like it's mm. obviously better than throwing them up. Mm. Yeah, it's hard. Like. I think I only know like, a handful of people who can do it. And like, I don't know, like it's a uh, good, but like... In terms of things like you should learn, like it's probably not up there. But it's fun. It's good to... It's one of those things to feel fast. Yeah, what's up, Marka? Mm -hmm. Fuck them kids. Hell yeah, they should learn themselves. Like I did. No one ever taught me shit. <laughs> But I do like that, like, I feel like oh, there's a lot more Peaches that are just, like, posting their combos. I'm like, dude, look, I'm doing a crazy there thing. Needs, I'm like, oh, There God. needs to be a, like, consolidated, uh, like, Smash Twitter clip account that, like, re retweets all the good Smash, like, uh, like, combos. Mm hmm Somebody, I, I don't have the time, or I would. I definitely would. Fuck. Dude, weird melee happening. <laughs> tune in, tune in. Oh, another dream combo I have is... I want to do, like, down tilt into the double turnip thing there, and then also do the double turnip or edge guard. That'll probably take forever, but in my dreams. I have a really cool uh, idea. Maybe maybe I'll, maybe I'll show you. Maybe I'll show you real quick after this uh, for rest punishes or shield breaks because I feel like they'll work in either direction. They actually, it would be better if it was on the shield break. You, you'll dig it. Mm. I did it to a pop one, so mm. now I'm thinking it would be better on other characters. I gotta, mm. I gotta break more shields. I wish there were more shields. The animation, like, when your shield break's done, is just so aesthetically cool. Nothing will make a venue turn around more than the fucking a shield popping. People oh, hear that yeah. sound and they're like, oh shit. It's so exciting. I don't know what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite thing about Peach is honestly turnips. 
Oh yeah, dude, she gets items and like the things you could do with items. That was that was one of the reasons I picked up Peach. I was like, she's so cool with items. She can grab a beam sword and you can't. Yeah, dude. I've always thought about like what if Peach could just pull every item at Uh huh. I think uh there's we'll get you a code that can do that if you wanna mess around with that. I know some people Ooh. I think there is a code already, but if there's not, Uncle Punch can just pull those out of his ass. He's he's a Oh nut yeah. Dude, that man made the most important mod in Melee. Or, the most important mod ever, honestly. Which was, uh, <laughs> the Kirby Air Ride mod. <laughs> Ever played it? No, I, I never have. I know what it is. I mean, I've, I've had friends that have played it. I just... Never... Never had the pleasure. I'm it's also so weird fun. when it comes to games. I don't, like, like video games. Is that weird? Dude, weird. I've... I've felt like that in terms... Or I think I only play the games that are just like super nostalgia mode. Like, for example, Kirby Air Ride. I mean, I like it because I played it when I was a baby. <laughs> but, like, in terms of new games, I never play. Shit. We choked it. Um, like, I always feel weird when I tell my friends, like, oh yeah, play melee semi professionally. It's like, oh, so you're a gamer. I'm like, well, like, kinda. <laughs> kind of. But definitely. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, the I only just saw this one game. Two games that I've really always kind of been into is like Smash and Pokemon. Because here's the thing like, they are fun on every level. I know people that play the most casual Smash and love it. People will play casual Pokemon and love it. But then, like, you could take it a step farther because there's crazy people that love these games so much. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like a whole different game. You know what I mean? It's, and it's fun for everybody. Like, I could sit down yeah. and show some shit to a person who loves Smash but doesn't know about the competitive and, like, crazy metagame. And there's, it's just, it's like them seeing God. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I, I definitely think that, like, the games that, like, stick around the longest are usually the most fun because I feel like there's just been so many people to invent w new ways to enjoy them. Like, with new games, it's like you play it, for like the 10 hours that it takes to beat a game or something. And then since it's so new, it's hard to like grab new things for that game. But like Pokemon, holy shit, there's like 80 different ways to enjoy it. There's like competitive, there's like Nuzlocke, there's people who just like, like creating art for it. There's like mm -hmm. weird leagues where you draft Pokemon. That's really cool. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, that's how I that's how I feel about video games. Not the biggest mm. not the biggest gamer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's also just like melee. Ever since enjoying melee, it's just like it's so stimulating. I get like ADHD and bored when I play any other game. It's like why am I not breaking my hands playing this I also, game? Also like dude, like I'll have free time and I'll like have time to play like a video game i'm like everything else is a waste of time man. i don't know yeah because it's sure that'll, like that, that'll fade one day but for right now i'm still you know 14 years strong just loving melee yeah like probably when we have like Titus and we can't anymore well no then i pick up the box and it's okay again <laughs> dude that's a whole nother level of commitment picking up like an entire controller Oh, dude, that could have been everything. That could have been. That could have been something. Um, yeah, dude. I think about hacks every day of my life, and just <laughs> I don't think I've known anyone who's liked anything. Dude, more he than is he my has favorite melee. melee crazy person. Like, he's actually nuts. Like, my favorite uh, hacks quote uh, is actually him ripping on PM, which is even more on brand for me. It's so funny. He's like, dude, I played oh, PM yeah. once. And I played an Ivysaur, and I had this Ivysaur off stage 80 times. <laughs> and you know what happens in melee when you're off stage 80 times? You lose 80 <laughs> stocks. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great hacks quote. Holy oh, shit! Yeah. Ooh, trading there. Nice. Ooh. I uh, I actually have a Project M hack story too, which is great. Which was uh, I love, it. Like I love a, to hear it. I know it's gonna turn out the way I like stories to turn out. It's like, 
So it was a, oh, I forget, like a Skatar, Ktar. There's like eight different tar tournaments, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> so I'm at one. <laughs> and uh, there's a, there. It was during the period of time when like melee players, like they be at a tournament with melee and PM, and they're like, you know what, like I might as well enter PM. Like it's close enough to melee. Like I can do it while, fuck, I can do it while I wait. I've been trying to do that old game. <laughs> Something oh, like wait. that. Scar jump, shine, turn around. Uh, down air, like just to get you like in that area. Ooh. Fuck, I thought you were going to wedge. Um, what's it called? No, so we're at this tournament where it's like, all right, we're just going to enter PM because we're bored. And I, I was like one of the first times Hacks had done that. And so it was me and Captain Smuckers on one and swift base on another Love and the key is <laughs> fucking amazing, dude. he is such a legend um oh what the fuck yeah. trying to do the uh Ooh, Ooh, please. i'm gonna fuck you killed me <laughs> no the fairy tale it's over <laughs> dude that was oh. that is definitely the the clip i will share on twitter that's yeah, just like please do anytime that's we good both one. play who do you just pause it at certain times and be like, who do you think is gonna win at this one? Like this interaction. <laughs> and then pause it again and be like, ooh, now you probably think someone else is gonna win this interaction. And then it ends up being you. Oh. <laughs> that was so funny. Um no, so we're at this tournament and it's just like the like, okay, losing one of PM, uh hacks and swift base versus uh Ryo Beat and Cabin Smuggers. And we just like all look at each other, or we're just like Dude, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> well, how did we end up in losers round one? And it's just like, we're all like the top four seeds of the event. It's like, dude, what the fuck happened to you? It's like, uh, I got button pressed on by a Lucas. It's like, what about you, man? It's like, well, Diddy Kong back through me and I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> and then like, we played and we're like, dude, maybe, maybe we should just play male. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, let's uh, never do this again. I think we were just all embarrassed to be like the top four seeds and then just getting fucked in this other game. And we're like, you know, we could be like, not doing this. <laughs> Fuck, I thought Randall would come. I actually don't look at the timer. Pray. <laughs> Dude, I'm always on that timer. I just, I just, every time I get a clip, it's just, I imagine, it's like Randall just like looking out for me. It's not timed. It's just how much he enjoys me as a person in that game. <laughs> it's karma or something. You know what I mean? If you were a good speech this week, Randall would be there for you. <laughs> yeah, if I like got hit with, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta even this up. You're my boy. Dude, I used to feel that way about like, uh, what I, I became a better person when I started playing Peach because I really thought that like, you know, karma, the only like way that I'll see it is like, if I'm a good person, I'll get more stitches. I, I told Ooh. people that too, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like Santa Claus theory, but with Peach. Yeah. When we give stitches to the good boys and girls. Mm -hmm. I have a, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> My favorite of the uh, the matches, you have no business winning, but you get that last like sock stitch and you take like three straight with it and you're like, yep. Shit, you go. Dude, I, I always feel bad when I can't avoid stitch. Like if I get on a sand, dude, what were you supposed to do? <laughs> dude, also I think you are the second best spots I've ever played at doing the side B sweet spots. I've never seen someone hit them so consistently. Oh really? That is not hacks. Dude, yeah. I like when I play foxes, there, there are a couple foxes that like I don't know, I see them do it and I'm like, dude, I, I can never hit this with a turn up, like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to like to like start something and I just can't get it. I'm it's the only you and Hacks to do it. I'm kind of notoriously hard to combo just because like I know what like the combo people look for is and I know like like I have no right. problem uh, DIing out even if I'm off stage. Like I know, you know what I mean, the <laughs> trap. Right, right. Like, I mean, I played, as the uh, adventure of combo. I played Bobby Big Balls uh, on one of these streams, and I feel like the stuff that he does to people, like in these Twitter clips, 
were not happening to me, and I just, I was ready. I knew that he was coming for blood, and I was like, <laughs> not gonna happen. That's so sick. There's probably only a hand who haven't gotten clipped by Bobby. I honestly respect any Peach that gets any clips with her, because she's just so slow, the timing to get it is so rough. Yeah. Like, I feel like if other characters, like, their thing that they're going, there's a way that they can, like, pick it back up. Like, Peach, she's just, like, too slow to, like, rebound anything. Mm. That was weird when it hits my fireball. Oh. <laughs> oh, didn't think that was going to kill me. Ooh, nice back here. Nice back here. <laughs> that Wait, did the turn up hit? No, it didn't. Oh, See, I... that's but that's what I'm talking about. That's one of those things. Like I, I know that I need to di in a certain way, or else that stuff is gonna happen to me. That's just a lot unavoidable. Fuck. If I got the trade there. You can see all my heads. This is where it gets real for a lot of players. They're like, all right. Ah, shit, shit. I gotta make something happen. No, no. I messed up my scar jump. Dude, I wish Peach had a wall jump, so. I wish every character. I mean, Except technically, all be characters fun. do. Sorry, I'm SDing all your like chances to like. Yeah! It's actually my plan, sorry. I thought I'd get high enough. Oh, that would have been fucking crazy. You haven't been there. I gotta high. say. <laughs> shout outs to, uh. Shout outs to Javi, the legend of double shining. Oh, yeah, the aerial double say. shine? He made that fucking look oh, sick. Yeah. I remember during that time. No, 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 I. Dude, don't let it happen. Also, first beam sword? Yeah. No bombs, uh, no Saturns. You've, uh, you've Z dropped all your stitches. Because <laughs> I. With stitches, I always try to do, like, Z drop. Like, Z drop something, re grab it, and then hit with the stitch when I try to do, like, a, a fancy thing. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's so hard. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Nice, nice. Oh, two stocks left. How am I gonna Dude, you are unclickable. <laughs> Time for the the world's at first uh, four stock comeback. <laughs> this is uh yeah, <laughs> this is gonna end now, with uh, you doing like a reverse bear in the air, and you're like, well, I don't know, that was all we had. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have me and my friend have this funny ass meme idea. So obviously you've watched the doc, you know the part where it's like, oh yeah, now KDJ will try. Like we wanted to edit that where it's like, and now KDJ will try, and then he just misses a ledge dash the first stop, and Dude, it just you know, ends there. <laughs> you know my favorite thing about that is like, now he will try, and that's what I think about like when I, uh, when I fucking up smash with Marth. <laughs> yeah, the most, he like he does the most up. questionable fucking uh, Marth up smash of all time. Dude, it's so funny. I, in uh, with my friends all the time. Like, he literally fucked up. Why do I do it? 120. Oh, shit. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm on my last stock. 120. No, if you just...
<laughs> no. Oh. Woo! That would have been hard. Could have been done. I hate how small foxes oh, no. like grab the turnip areas. I know. Woo. I wish I wish everyone could re grab turnips much more easily. It's so fun to do. Alright, alright. Stay in the lobby, because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over the slippy stats, which is like a crazy fun thing to look at. Uh like with ninety nine stocks. Uh let me find the folder. Slippy. <laughs> it's funny, these uh these slippy like files are so small and then the 99 stock one is like 60 times bigger. <laughs> also, I don't know if your mic cut out. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, is it replaying the whole thing? It does that now? It did not used to do that. Alright, let me, uh... Pull something up here. New source. Window capture. No, I'm gonna do... Add new source. Nope, wrong one. What is this called? Slippy desktop app. Uh, okay, this one. No, that's not it either. Fuck. Maybe something I can't pull up yet, just because it's not loading. No, it should be good. Fuck. Hold on, I'm, uh... I'm doing this all wrong. We'll just do display capture. All right. So, ninety nine, seventy six. Pretty good. Pretty good. I didn't get super killed in damage, which uh, usually happens to Peach. Dude, I think his I think his house blew up or his internet died. I don't know. Wow, the the margin that he won in this category is so small. Point four, crazy. Openings per kill, damage. He air dodged a lot more than me, I guess, Peach. We spot dodged the same amount. He rolled a lot more than me. Huh? Dude, check out my neutral. I won neutral like a madman. Counter hits, he won beneficial trades. <laughs> Peach. He dash danced uh, three times as much as I did. <laughs> His inputs per minute. Very impressive. And all the kills. So yeah, pretty Sanders stuff. Uh, man. Uh, I feel bad that he has fallen off the face of the earth. <laughs>